Hi and welcome to the final section of the course demystifying currying dispatching and pie monad in this video we'll be discussing about functional composition and currying going forward we'll be covering the following topics what is functional composition currying and we'll be doing some hands on example of currying using func tools and decorators so let's begin so what exactly is functional composition functional composition is the process of chaining two or more functions together what this means is that the output of one function serves as input to another function mathematically speaking it can be expressed as h of g of x this means that suppose we have the input x so we pass it to g and the output of gx serves as input to h we can apply this chaining principle to two or more functions as well so let's go to the code so this notebook is specifically made for python 3.x versions so let's uh, make a function that composes two functions so we have h underscore x and g underscore x as input what this function does is it chains them together so i have two functions here first function adds suffix to a string the second function removes a uh, punctuation from a string using uh, regular expressions next i'll compose these functions together so the h of x is remove punctuation and gx is add suffix so what happens when i call this compose function over hello exclamation mark space world question mark so what happens here is it first adds a suffix to the string hello world which is the suffix comma space was finally added three times exclamation mark and this uh, string is finally passed to remove punctuation which removes all the punctuation from the final string so basically this is same as passing understand that this operation is not commutative this means if i change the order the output will be different this is because first the punctuation was removed from hello exclamation mark world question mark and then the suffix was added so this function call is same as this because the punctuations are removed from this string and then the suffix is added now let's come to currying using currying we can transform a function with multiple arguments to multiple single argument higher order functions what this means is we can express a function with multiple arguments like this suppose if a function takes four arguments a b c and d we can express it as multiple single argument functions like this so we'll be using the partial function from the func tools modules to do currying so here i have defined a function do some ops which takes three arguments a b c and d and does this operation a into b plus c minus d what i'll do here is bind the b argument in this do underscore sum ops function using the partial function of the func tools modules then i'll bind c and finally d now when i call this d so f d with 9 this will pass 9 to a so let's go over the code once before executing this d so underscore f b binds b to 10 d s o f c 
uses DSOFB and binds C to 100. So B is 10 and C is 100 till here. Finally, DSOFD binds DSO underscore F underscore C A with D as 1. So B is 10, C is 100, D is 1. Finally, when I call this DSO underscore F underscore D with 9, so A is passed as 9. So we get the output 189. So this is same as calling like this. So basically 9 into 10 is 90 plus 100 that is 190 minus 1 that is 189. Let's take a look at another example. Suppose I have a function which predicts land prices. So we have four arguments the air in which the land was sold, the air in which the land was bought, initial price of the land and the area. This is some random calculation to predict the land price for the current year in which it is sold based on these arguments. So think of this as a real world example of predicting prices. Now the three arguments air in which the land was bought, the initial price and area will remain fixed throughout. So similar to the binding we did here, we'll bind the air bought to 2012, the initial price to 50,000 and the plot area to say 1000. Then we predict the price of our land for the year 2022. This comes out to be 25200. This is the same as calling the original function which with these arguments 2022, 2012, 50,000 and 1000. We can call this function plp underscore area to predict prices in various years say 2023 or 2030. So this is one use of currying. We can bind the arguments which we know are fixed for some application and then call the function only for the argument that is changing. Or suppose you have a pipeline of different functions and uh, the signatures or the number of arguments are different in some functions of the pipeline. So you can bind those arguments which are fixed so that the function signature is same throughout the pipeline. We can also uh, use currying using decorators. Here I'll be using the signature function of the inspect module. The signature function is used to analyze the arguments or parameters passed in a function. So basically this returns the parameters passed to the function and the length of this uh, expression returns the number of parameters. So here I'll create a decorator. So you all are familiar with decorators since we have used them before so many times. So we'll define the decorator, pass the function, we define the inner function with the arguments. We check if the number of parameters are one, then we simply call the function. If there are more than one parameters, then we recursively apply this decorator and call the partial function over the different arguments. What we are doing here is checking if the number of arguments to the function are 1. So if it is 1 we are simply calling the function else we are recursively calling the curry func decorator over the partial function. Next we apply this curry decorator over the do sum ofs function which we created before. We can call the do sum ofs like this since we have use curry func decorator. So this is basically the same as calling the function do some ops with a as 9, b with 10, c 100 and d 1. Similarly for the predict land prices function we can do the same. So a quick recap of what we have learned. Using functional composition we can chain two or more functions together. Using currying we can break a single function with multiple arguments to multiple single argument higher order functions. We can do currying using partial function from func tools, decorators, etc. That's it for this lecture. 